You notice I didn't support the point or the ends or anything. I just kind of whacked it. It works if you don't put too much of a bite on this. If you try to, if you don't take off too much, it really doesn't cause a lot of stress. Just got my finger with that one. Um, it doesn't cause that much stress, especially with a hard piece of steel. The steel doesn't grab on. It doesn't pull it. It just smashes it. And uh, steel is not good for every material. It's only good for some materials. You wouldn't want to use it on glass. It just smashes the glass. this type of material it works well my thoughts right now are do not break it do not break it any wrong move will break it Make sure it's well proportioned so there isn't a weak spot somewhere where it can snap. If there's a weak spot somewhere along this blade, like right there is a weak spot, that, that has a potential of snapping off right there, right at that weak spot. So I have to be very careful about putting any kind of striking force down here because it just kind of vibrates through the blade and it'll snap off right there. So, but if you look, the thickness, the thickness is fairly consistent. It dips down right here and it goes back up and it dips down, but you've got some on the back supporting it, so it, it, it should be okay. Now, I don't usually think in that kind of detail when I'm normally doing this. I just thought I'd bring that up because it is important to to keep those kind of things in mind sometimes. Especially when you're doing a point that you really want to finish. You're not just doing it just to clear your mind or to relieve stress, but you have a point that you really want to finish. It's very important that you know exactly what you need to do to be the most successful that you can. I'm hitting this with indirect percussion because I can send flakes further with this than with a pressure flake. Uh, but I may switch over here pretty quick. just safer. Pressure flicking it sometimes can be safer. We'll see. And I mentioned that the point that I'm trying to uh, duplicate seemed like a war point to me and not a hunting point and uh, the time it takes to make one of those also kind of gives you an idea of what they were used for this is requiring a lot of time for me to to make and if I wanted to make some hunting points I probably could have made two points for hunting in the time that it's taken me to get this far and I'm not done I'm only about 75 percent done so this kind of point seems like it would be either 
for a special occasion, uh, maybe a gift at a funeral or for war, uh, just to intimidate the enemy or for a, a decoration, maybe a piece of jewelry or a good luck charm because it does require an enormous amount of time and effort to uh, generate a, a point with such long barbs and such a delicate tip. Anyway.